Folks, whenever a breakthrough technology takes off, everyone races toward the big names. But the real opportunity often starts where few are paying attention, with the smaller innovators building the foundation for the next wave of growth. That's exactly what we're seeing in AI right now. While most investors are laser-focused on giants like NVIDIA, a new lineup of under-the-radar companies is quietly developing essential technology that could become impossible for the world to ignore in just a year or two. So today, I'm sharing my top four fast-emerging AI infrastructure stocks under $10 that I'm keeping very close on my radar heading into 2026. Before we start, remember folks, this video is for educational purposes only, and this is not a financial advice. I am just simply sharing my research and watch list. And if you like catching major trends before they go mainstream, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss what's coming next. Let's aim for 500 likes on this video. Now, let's jump right into it. The first AI infrastructure stock that could deliver massive returns heading into 2026 is Navitas Semiconductor, trading under the ticker symbol NVTS on the NASDAQ. Navitas Semiconductor Corporation is one of the most important emerging technology companies in the AI hardware market. AI data centers are consuming mind-blowing amounts of electricity. Every time a model like ChatGPT gets smarter, it requires more compute, and that compute burns more power in a dramatic way. According to industry projections, by the end of the decade, artificial intelligence could require as much electrical power as an entire industrialized nation like Japan. And the world is already seeing the warning signs. Hyperscalers are hitting expansion limits not because they lack GPUs, but because their regions lack available energy. Data centers are now restricted not by compute, but by electricity. The U.S. grid is under massive strain. Energy prices are rising, states are denying permits for new power-hungry buildouts, and countries are studying emergency upgrades to keep AI growth from stalling out. So the companies that can solve the energy efficiency problem are becoming mission critical for the entire sector. This is exactly where Navitas steps in. Navitas specializes in wide bandgap power semiconductors, specifically GAN, gallium nitride, and SIC, silicon carbide. These are next-generation power chips designed for extreme performance environments. They run cooler, operate at higher voltages, and move electrons faster than traditional silicon. That means huge improvements in speed and power efficiency, two things AI absolutely cannot scale without. Navitas isn't just talking about future technology, it is already enabling it. Their GANFAST and GeneSci-C product lines are rapidly being adopted in high-growth industries such as AI data centers, high-performance computing, renewable energy grids, and electric vehicles. They are powering some of the highest energy-consuming components in modern infrastructure and making them dramatically more efficient. The company recently announced one of the most significant milestones in its history, the expansion of its partnership with Avnet, one of the world's largest global component distributors. Avnet has now become a globally franchised distribution partner for Navitas, massively scaling the company's worldwide reach. This is a massive competitive advantage. Avnet provides both commercial reach and deep technical engineering resources to accelerate adoption across the world. Customers will now have faster access to Navitas products, consistent supply, and global support. And remember, when emerging technology companies expand distribution, especially across continents, adoption tends to follow in a big way. Navitas intentionally focused first on developing superior technology. Now, they are scaling it. And with demand for power optimization surging across AI infrastructure, timing could not be better. From a financial standpoint, Navitas is showing strong performance for a young disruptor in a capital-intensive market. They reported revenue of $10.1 million, right in line with guidance, while improving their gross margin to 38.7%. Operating expenses have come down from the previous quarter, demonstrating disciplined cost control in pursuit of profitability. And perhaps most impressively, Navitas maintains a cash balance of $151 million with zero debt. That gives them huge operational flexibility heading into major growth cycles. Even with these achievements, the stock remains incredibly undervalued relative to its potential. Novitas currently trades at around $7.21 and is up 101% year-to-date. That rally signals that institutional money is beginning to notice what the retail crowd has missed. The power bottleneck is the single greatest risk to AI growth, and Navitas has the solution. If adoption of gone and sick accelerates as expected, and demand aligns with projections, NVTS has the potential to multiply in value over the next few years as hyperscalers race to solve their energy crisis. The second AI infrastructure stock that could deliver massive returns heading into 2026 is Poet Technologies, trading under the ticker symbol Poet on the NASDAQ. Poet Technologies is building the next-generation infrastructure that allows GPUs, CPUs, and custom accelerators to communicate at speeds far beyond what copper cables can support. As AI training models grow more advanced and compute clusters get larger, 
performance is increasingly determined by the speed of data transfer between processors. AI today is only as powerful as the interconnect technology that supports it, and that is where Poet is leading a fundamental transformation. Poet has developed a breakthrough innovation called the Optical Interposer, a platform that integrates photonics and electronics together on a single low-cost semiconductor substrate. Instead of transferring data electrically, which creates heat, delay, and power loss, Poet's technology uses light to transmit information at terabit speeds with ultra-low energy consumption. It's elegant, scalable, and positioned to become the backbone of future AI data centers. And there is a real sense of urgency in the market for optical interconnect. Copper has officially reached its physical limits. It cannot deliver the next step in speed needed for trillion-parameter AI models. In response, the entire AI hardware ecosystem, from networking giants to hyperscale cloud operators, is preparing for a full transition into optical solutions like co-packaged optics. This shift will drive trillions of dollars in infrastructure spending over the next decade. Poet Technologies is positioned right at the center of that investment wave. One of the biggest catalysts recently was Poet's collaboration with Quantum Computing Inc. to co-develop a 3.2 terabits per second optical engine using 400G per lane thin film lithium niobate modulators. These devices are expected to double today's fastest connections inside AI clusters, dramatically improving GPU-to-GPU -GPU communication while reducing heat and power overhead. The target completion for this development is the second half of 2026, exactly when AI model scaling will push existing interconnect technology beyond its capabilities. Revenue at Poet has begun to pick up, signaling an important transition from a research-focused company into a commercialization phase. They generated $298,000 in revenue this quarter, compared to just $3,685 a year ago, a dramatic 135% year-over-year improvement. The company also strengthened its financial position with over $250 million raised through three equity rounds, securing roughly $92.7 million in cash on the balance sheet to support product rollout. Losses are narrowing as economies of scale begin kicking in. Even analysts are starting to turn bullish. Northland Capital recently bumped its price target from $7 to $8 and reiterated an outperform rating, driven by the accelerating adoption of photonics across AI workloads. The stock is currently trading at $6.37, which feels wildly undervalued considering the scale of the industry transformation that is underway. The third AI infrastructure stock that could deliver massive returns heading into 2026 is GSI Technology, trading under the ticker symbol GSIT on the NASDAQ. GSI Technology has spent years establishing itself as a trusted supplier of high-performance SRAM memory used in aerospace, defense, networking equipment, medical hardware, and automotive systems. But now, the company is leading one of the most disruptive architectural shifts in AI hardware, compute and memory technology. GSI's flagship innovation, the Gemini Associative Processing Unit, fundamentally breaks down the wall between compute and memory. Traditionally, GPUs and CPUs must constantly move data back and forth from memory to processing cores. This memory bottleneck, known as the von Neumann limitation, wastes enormous time and power. As models grow larger and workloads become more complex, this bottleneck becomes even more restrictive. The Gemini APU solves this problem by processing data directly inside the memory array. This design allows massive parallel computation without constant data shuffling. The speed and power efficiency gains are enormous, especially for vector search and classification, which are core operations for modern AI inference. Independent research at Cornell University confirmed that Gemini I can match the performance of certain high-end GPUs while using an incredible 98% less energy. That is disruption at the architectural level not incremental enhancement. This breakthrough puts GSI in a powerful competitive position in defense-focused edge applications, where low power, real-time performance, and radiation tolerance are mission critical. From a financial performance standpoint, momentum is accelerating. GSI reported revenue of $6.4 million, up 42% year over year, driven by strong demand for their SRAM portfolio. They also raised $50 million to push forward both Gemini 2 and their next generation chip known as Plato expected to tape out in early 2027. This establishes a multi-year roadmap of innovation in compute and memory technology. The stock trades at around $6.44, up 112% year-to-date, and yet remains dramatically undervalued compared to the scale of the markets it's entering. The fourth and final AI infrastructure stock to watch closely in 2026 is TSS Incorporated, trading under the ticker symbol TSSI on the NASDAQ. TSS is the quiet but essential partner in the AI build-out, and the company is deeply embedded in designing, deploying, integrating, and maintaining mission-critical IT infrastructure. While companies like NVIDIA supply the chips, TSS is the one that actually builds the physical environments those chips live in and keeps them running reliably 24-7. TSS operates across three essential segments, 
procurement of AI infrastructure hardware, systems integration, which includes assembling high-performance and AI-optimized compute racks, and facilities management services. They handle the full life cycle of enterprise-level tech deployment. That includes sourcing equipment, configuring it to customer needs, installing it into data center footprints, and providing ongoing operational support. They are a specialty integrator, which means hyperscalers, telecom providers, and government agencies depend on them to scale physical infrastructure quickly and efficiently. As AI becomes the defining compute layer of the global economy, data centers are being built and expanded faster than at any time in history. NVIDIA's CEO has publicly stated the world will require trillions of dollars in new data center infrastructure. Someone has to build all that capacity. TSS is one of those few experienced players with the proven operational expertise to deliver it. Looking at the company's financials, TSS recently reported revenue of $41.9 million. It was a down period. Procurement revenue slipped due to timing delays in large orders. But this volatility is normal in hardware procurement and doesn't reflect underlying demand. In fact, what matters more is that systems integration revenue, the highest margin part of the business, actually increased 20% year over year. That means TSS is steadily moving into the most profitable and scalable part of its model, integrating and assembling complex AI compute systems at volume. Even facilities management revenue remains healthy despite a 19% dip, and the business still delivered $1.5 million in adjusted EBITDA. Meanwhile, long-term market demand is strengthening fast. The expansion of GPU clusters, edge data centers, and national AI infrastructure initiatives will require specialized integration partners. As competition intensifies among big tech, defense, and governments for AI superiority, companies capable of building AI-powered data centers on schedule and at scale will see unprecedented demand. The stock has surged more than 883% over the past five years, a remarkable trajectory for a small-cap infrastructure provider operating behind the scenes. Yet despite this growth, TSSI still trades at around $6.98, suggesting there could be significant room for continued appreciation if large AI deployment contracts land on their books over the next year. To wrap things up, if you believe that AI is still in the early stages of exploding into every industry, then these companies deserve a spot on your radar heading into 2026. If you found value in this video, make sure to smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel with bell notifications turned on. Comment below and tell me which of these four infrastructure stocks you think has the biggest upside.